Sicilian Defense, Nyesmet de Novra Salomo, Fianchetto Variation, 4.bxc6. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. Black had the better end of a sloppy end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The C pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the D4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on D4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on D4. Nc6 aids in maintaining control over the d4 and e5 squares. Bb5 engages in a knight on c6 attack while getting ready to castle king's side. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. Bxc6 captures the knight and forces black to double their c pawns in exchange for the bishop pair. Recaptures. Castling gets the king to a safer square out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is a fair deal after all captures. Backs off. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. This threatens to pin a knight. It is the last book move. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This wins a tempo on a queen while while developing a piece. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is best. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. It is a mistake. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This wins a tempo on a rook while simultaneously developing a piece. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This misses a chance to threaten a rook and gain tempo. It is incorrect. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is ideal. This disregards an improved method of getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is incorrect. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. 
This wastes a chance to threaten a rook and gain the tempo. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This misses a chance to center a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The knight can now control more squares as a result. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. This enables the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. This threatens to fork pieces. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material. It is excellent. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. This misses a chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. That's good. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. That's good. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. This makes it impossible for the adversary to advance a passed pawn. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. This avoids the bishop's check. It's compelled. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop while also checking the king. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a bishop while also checking the king. It is excellent. It's all right. That's good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This leads to losing a pawn. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a blunder. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It's compelled. 
the moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. This evades the check from the pawn. It is forced. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. Black had the better end of a sloppy end game. This overlooks an opportunity to fork pieces. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a miss intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. Black had the better end of a sloppy end game.